we have quite the journey ahead of us right now. <laughs> That bus ride was a little crazy. Made it on the Ladique Ferry. Should be about 20 minutes over to the other island. Good morning, happy travelers. Welcome back to Pralin in the Seychelles. Today is our last day on Pralin and we're heading to Ladigue on the ferry later, but not before we visit what is considered one of the Seychelles' best beaches. It's called Anse Georgette. Today was the only day we could make a booking for it because it's on a hotel's property, so you have to make a reservation. So we're gonna head there, spend the day at the beach, and then get on over to Ladigue later. We had a rental car yesterday, but we had to return that last night, so today we are gonna be taking the bus. Luckily, there's a bus stop right outside of our hotel, and I think it takes about a half an hour to get there. We should say that the Seychelles are still pretty strict with their mask laws. It is a big fine if you're indoors in public without a mask. Enforcement has been pretty spotty. They were really strict about it on the ferry the other day, but it's been hit or miss, so we we're just using our best judgment. We thought the bus was gonna come about 20 minutes ago. So far, no luck. One bus did come, but it was the wrong one. It's just a little tough because it's a million degrees out here. We're excited to get on our way to the beach. <laughs> so the heat was really getting to us over there waiting for the bus. We ended up waiting about 45 minutes or so and a couple buses came and they weren't the right ones. And so we got a little discouraged. We ended up heading back up to our guest house into the lobby and asking about a taxi or a rental car or something. and they were nice enough to find a ride for us. Apparently one of their friends was heading in that direction, so they're gonna give us a ride. Yeah. I guess we missed a bus when we went back up there. <laughs> yeah. But the thought of like an air-conditioned rental car sounded so amazing. We were like, oh, let's go try, but that failed. So we're getting a ride up there anyway, which is great. Hopefully this one will work out. We have encountered some incredibly friendly locals in the last hour or so. We caught a ride from a local. She lives up near Ost Georgette and she was coming this way, so she gave us a ride for free. Was just like the nicest person I've ever met in my entire life. We tried to give her some money too and she was not having it. I think we've mentioned it a little bit before in our videos, but the people in the Seychelles are so nice and yeah. so friendly. We've just arrived at the golf course that you have to walk through to get to Anse Georgette, and the security guard there was super nice as well. They checked our temperatures and made us sign a little waiver. It's a little interesting because beaches in Seychelles are actually public, so I'm not 100% sure where the reservation comes into. I think it's because we to get to it, we have to walk through the resort. It's nice. Pretty good experience so far. Yeah. From what I understand, this is about a 25 minute walk through this golf course to get to the beach. Sweaty. <laughs> made it. This was a strictly no makeup trip because I knew it was just going to melt off my face, which was a good choice because I've never sweat so much in my entire life, I swear. Whew. What a spot. Got myself a coconut. Well, Kevin got me a coconut. I shouldn't take credit. <laughs> There's a little fruit stand. This beach is really, really beautiful. Ocean is a little rough right now. I jumped in anyways to kind of wash off all the sweat because it is very hot. It doesn't feel crowded at all. No. There's not a lot of spots in the shade, but we were easily able to find one. 30, maybe 40 people on the beach. So it's pretty nice. Kelly's got a coconut, so she's happy. Ah, splashed. <laughs> We have to get back because it's a half an hour walk back and then we have to wait for the bus and we don't know how long that's going to take and then it's a half hour bus ride back to where we've been staying so we can pick up our bags so then we can go to the jetty to get the ferry so we have quite the journey ahead of us right now 
So Anse Georgette was very beautiful. I think it would have been more worth it if we had had more time there because it's such a very hot and sweaty walk. We only had like hour and a half. an hour and a half or so, unfortunately, but it was really pretty. I'm, I'm glad that we went. The waters were rough though. Even I didn't want to go far in in that beach because pretty good riptide. After a very sweaty and hot 20 minute hike we made it to the bus stop. Hopefully we won't have to wait too long. From what I understand the bus schedule is not super consistent and it's a little hard to catch a bus. This is the end of the line however so when we were getting the ride in they told us that all the buses from here would be empty going back this way so we, at least we'll be able to get a seat we just have to wait for our bus to arrive. Well, that was quite the experience. We did it. <laughs> it's always an adventure using local transportation. That bus ride was a little crazy. It's crazy how they get those buses up those narrow, really steep roads. Yeah. But they're pros. Did a good job. Lots of switchbacks. It's it pretty was fun. It was fun. And cheap. Now we're back at the hotel. We have to grab our bags and head to the ferry. to the ferry jetty and in typical fashion of us we did not plan this ahead in order to buy it online you had to do it uh, 48 hours in advance we tried to do it this morning so we couldn't do it so Kevin is in there buying our tickets now this is the last ferry of the day so I hope they have room got our tickets it's only about a 15 minute ferry it was 460 rupees for two people, which is about $15 per person, give or take. They told us we should be here an hour before, and that took like five minutes. So I guess we're gonna hang out for the next 55 <laughs> until our ferry. Welcome to La Digue. There aren't very many cars on the island, just a few taxis and you can't rent a car. So the main mode of transportation are bikes. All right, the taxi dropped us off at our guest house. We booked this on Airbnb and we kind of rode through the main area of Ladigue. It looks super cute. Everything is kind of walkable or you get to it by bike. Ladigue is the smallest of the three main islands of the Seychelles. So it should be pretty easy to get from point A to point B, hopefully. So. <laughs> Hello, welcome to our Airbnb. This place is called Barrel's Guest House. Looks like a collection of little rooms and it looks perfect. We will put a link to this Airbnb in the description. It's not very far from town. AC already works good, so that is a plus. Nice big room, big bed. You even have a TV, big wardrobe, and nice big bathroom, a shower. 
there's a fridge and a kettle and I guess they serve breakfast outside at uh, 8 o'clock. It's about 6 o'clock and we have left the guest house to head into town to get some food. There's not a lot of options from what I hear and it's pretty easy to find them because there'll be a lot of people lined up getting food at the same place. First impressions of Ladigue, this place is really, really nice. I'm loving the whole atmosphere without any cars. There's, it's very quiet. Welcome to dinner. There aren't a ton of restaurants to choose from, and to be honest, the prices are a little high, but the ambiance sitting pretty much right on the water, you know, when in Ladigue. We landed on a place that is right on the beach called the Fish Trap, and it's just about time for sunset. Last night I was craving some chips and guac and a margarita. Got my margarita. I don't have chips and guac though, so I think we'll have to make a trip to Mexico soon. <laughs> Kelly and I decided to go for penne with prawns and a chicken burger, and the food looks really, really good. I'm excited. Pretty hungry. I think this meal is gonna be just what we need. <laughs> I'm a little excited. I get more excited about food when we're traveling than probably anything else. We're both exhausted, so I think that's gonna be it for this one. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below. Until tomorrow, this is Kelly and Kevin from the Encore Tourists. Peace out. I'm terrible at this. We have a, we have a night, say we have a, a that. We have a that? We have a that. There's it's about six o'clock, we have left the guest house. We have left the, the, oh my God, can't say a word. You just hear kind of the birds and people walking around and you hear people, how do you hear people walking around? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's cool and stuff, yep. Chirp, 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 chirp. Words and things. Cheese balls! Yes! <laughs> Gimme. You're a cheese ball. Are you recording? No. You're a liar. Can I finish your margarita? Oh, now it's in focus. Is it really? Now it's blurry. It's kind of in focus. Dude, the, get that camera on my face. Paparazzi. Who are you dating? What are you wearing? Where do you live now? I'm married to Kelly. I'm wearing very sweaty clothes and I live in the Seychelles now. Be it for this video. And, and, we're. Oh my God. <laughs>